Watch me. Get ready to close. Jesus said unto her, Go. See? That son she had to do. So God said, That son you want to do. Amen, somebody. You can't expect him to do everything. And thank, come on, somebody. That he's just going to give you what you want. Yeah, That's something you got to do. Yeah. In other words, you got to make some constant yeah. decisions. Yeah. To stay away from sister. You got to make some constant decisions to stay out the hell of all. Amen. That's right. Because that's one of your bundles right there. Four of y'all, that's your main problem. Right oh my God. If you would get out the phone for 30 days and quit all that God's oh four of y'all. I can call you four out, but you don't want to go. If you four. Well, and quit gossip. And quit t- talking about everything you don't like I do. Oh, wow. And get on the phone and say, you don't like how Pastor changed stuff? You don't like how he rearranged stuff? Y'all ain't like the preacher. You don't like when he changed position? Y'all ain't like the pastor tonight. Amen. And see, you ought to quit doing that because you know it's going to always come back. You ought to quit. quit. I know everything going to come back. Look like I quit doing that. If you don't, that means you don't care. If you don't care, that stuff get back to power. That means you don't care. You have no respect. Wow, that's right. So God said, if you will stop that, you'll be better off in your spirit. Go for the day is March the what? Third. Go to the, go to the May April the third, and say, you know, I ain't for the gospel no more. I'm going to be on hell for me. I'm going to pray. I'm going to set for eyes. Come on, somebody. Because, see, some of you can't even fulfill no natural goals. Some of you, I, if I talk to you that talk a lot, you can't even tell me what are your natural goals for the next three months. You can't even tell me what you're looking to be at naturally in six months. Because see, God is concerned about the whole man. He is just concerned about your spiritual life. All of us ought to be making plans for, for the future. Y'all ain't gotta, y'all ought to be telling them, come on, somebody. What are your goals natural? What do you want to be at natural? Come on, somebody. For the next six months of the next year. Come on, somebody. You can't do that when your pride is not in place. And it's going to be hard for it to be in place. That's all you're doing every day. Yes. No, sir, no, and that's no. why he said the pole you have. Yeah. Which you always. Which you always. Yeah, why do you think he was saying that? Yeah. Why do you think he was saying the pole you have which you always? Yeah. Because he already know, come on, somebody, somebody that right. they is gonna be lazy and ain't gonna do nothing right. to try to better themselves. Yeah. Right. So he said, You're gonna always have leeches around. Right. And I used to ask God, why you send me a lot of leeches? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got more takers than I got givers. Yeah. Wow. Yo, wow. 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 I said, God, you got to send me some entrepreneurs, some, yeah. some millionaires, or somebody. Come on, somebody. He said, if you quit cripping them, then I'll send them. If you quit, come on. You got to say no sometimes. If you quit cripping them, he said, the reason why I can't do that because they're going to continue to take advantage of it. But every time you look around, they're going to ask you until you say no. Oh, yeah. I ain't giving it to you. Yeah. I ain't doing it. Yeah. Yeah. You heard about it. Go to Make your own mind like I do. Yeah. Y'all ain't helping me up here. I got kids like you got kids. I got responsibility like you got responsibility. Come on, somebody. The church ain't no big saints. The church ain't no law in the church. Come on. This ain't the credit unit. Come on, somebody. You don't see nowhere in the Bible that they mess around and take it from the church. I matter of fact, Paul, he rocked the email to make sure the church was taken care of. He said, if a man don't work, a man should not eat. So, 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 he said, go and get you a job. Go and work. I get people a job, they quit the job. Wow. He about to get people out there and quit this out. Oh, I God. said he had nobody else to do that. Don't have nobody, no, no, no. Oh. I 
Every time I hear somebody, I know. Apostle, I know. To get jobs and employees. Uh -huh. The report come back to me. In the quit are they doing this? Oh, my Lord. And making my name look bad. bad. Yeah. You know what they did in Sweet Boy? They made my name look bad. bad. And they started acting like that. That's a reflection oh, on that. Uh -huh. And they started doing all that. It was a reflection on the house. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. They got the video to prove who it is. Oh, yeah. It's reflecting on yes, it the house. Yes, Because y'all should be able to conduct yourself Amen. when you're going with the house. And act like a court. Not act like you don't have no sense when you go. Come on, somebody. If you're a man of God, conduct yourself right. You supposed to conduct yourself right. Or oh, I just go and travel by myself. Because you supposed to be no, in the seat, good spirit, flowing with you. I should never have no call from sweet boy to tell you that stuff like that. Y'all ain't having that. So he said, "Go call." Well, y'all get. This is a deliverance church. That's why I preach deliverance. It's to bring you out of some. This is deliverance. Deliverance preaching. And sometimes we don't like the delivery. But he said, go and call your husband. And then come here. In other words, go get that thing that's been hitting you. Come on, somebody. And get that to me. And then come back again. Y'all ain't like it. Go get that thing. That's blocking you. Yeah. And stop. Because his son, it's one, it can be one thing, one thing. One in thing. your life yeah. that's stopping you yeah. from really getting yeah. all that God. It's one thing in some of y'all life yeah. that's hindering you yeah. from walking in your full call, yeah. your full yeah. purpose. Yeah. It can be one, it can just be one little conversation. Yeah. It can be just oh, one God. conversation. Y'all ain't know. It can be just one thing that you keep on doing, and God is telling you to stop it. See, God ain't gonna keep on telling you to stop something. Amen. If it's if it's if it's helping you, the reason why He tell you to stop because He knows it's preventing you. Come on, somebody. And somebody says one thing that's stopping you, that's blocking you from receiving the Holy Ghost. He said, "Go call your husband." You need to look into your life and say, "God, what's stopping me?" God, I, and, and see, God will keep telling you. Amen. You need to just quit that. See what it's getting you. See how is, is it helping you or is it hurting you? And watch what he said. I know I'm long tonight, but watch what he said. He said, The woman else said, I have no husband. She didn't lie. See, you can't lie. See, God gonna expose that thing. Come on, somebody. That you won't give to him. See, since you won't give it to me, the man of God got this false with it. Since you won't really give it to him. Since you won't really give it to him, the spirit of God got this false with it. Come on, somebody. And see, deliverance, man of God, ain't gonna come by denial. Once that thing is brought to light, once that thing is exposed, come on, somebody. Then you got to allow. The yeah, amen, amen. Amen. And watch what he says right there. Amen. He said, Go call your husband. I have no husband. Jesus said, Thou has well said, man. In other words, you didn't lie. You didn't walk in denial. Come on, somebody. You were truthful. He said, Thou has had five. In other words, you done made all these bad choices. You done did stuff, got in a relationship, involved with people. Come on, somebody. And you didn't wait on me. So all of these relationships, see, has been your distraction. All these relationships has been why you cannot walk in your purpose and your destiny. Y'all ain't helping me up in that. Because that's the problem a lot. It's always a person. A relationship issue. Y'all ain't gonna help me. It's always somebody. If, if there wasn't somebody, he would say, You did run well, but who did hinder? Y'all ain't helping me. Who did hinder you? So it's always a relationship. It's always a relationship that throws you back. Right, right, right. 
Whether it was friends, when somebody did you wrong in the church, come on, why it's some, it's some type of relationship that hinder us. You have had five. I'm about to let you go out of here. And the one you engage to now, the one you dating right now, the one you on the phone with now, the one you talking to right now, y'all ain't like it. Ever. Quit trying to claim him because he ain't so easy. Right, right. Boy, y'all don't like Bible no more. Boy, they don't like Bible no more. They don't like Bible no more. I didn't say that. The Bible said that. He said the one you trying to claim now, the one you have dreams about now, the one you have a vision about now, the one somebody prophesied and confirmed with you too. Amen. He ain't yours. Or you ain't like the preacher's night. The one that keep telling you, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it, confirming what you want to hear. It ain't a confirming from God. It's a confirming because it's what you want to hear. See, sometimes people can confirm because they know that's what you want. And you don't think it's really God. They ain't no God. They just confirming with your own desires. Because it's something you desire, and it's a strong desire. It's, a, it's more of a desire for that than a desire for God. And that's why God don't let you have Because that desire in you is more than it is for God. And God ain't going to give you nothing that you're showing a desire more than him. Because he's a jealous God. Boy, it's tough in here tonight. Boy, they ain't saying that. Ain't got my men say that. When somebody say, yeah, I ain't saying they mad with the preacher. It's tough in here tonight. I got to get out of here. I call them here. Y'all better help me tonight. What's wrong? Y'all better wake up. I know it's tough in here tonight. He said, the one man, he's not here. He said, if I can get you free from these people, if I can get your mind shit, oh y'all ain't like that. If I can get your mind free from I always want a man so much. There ain't nothing wrong with it. But if I can get you free from that and get you to refocus, then it might come up quicker. But because I can't get your focus, I can't give you what you desire the most. Because I know if I give you that, it's gonna take you away and I already took you away. You already don't hold it from me now. You already don't turn from me now. You already don't crave from me now. And if I give you your heart desire. You definitely ain't gonna crave for me now. You ain't thirsty for me now. You definitely gonna thirst for me now. Because the human being of marriage and nothing don't cause your thirst to increase. You ain't thirsty for God now. What make you gonna thirst when you say I'm happy? Or you get the love of your life? Five more minutes, I'm done. I'm done in today. And whom thou now has is not even yours. And why you want something that ain't yours? I don't, I don't. You ought to want what God has for you. Not what you want. Come on, sir. Not what you want ain't got nothing to do with your destiny. Y'all ain't helping me. A lot of times, God ain't gonna give you what you want. He'll give you what you need. And I'll share some fire. All of your needs are according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And what you need ain't got to do with God's destiny and purpose. If you think you need a tall and this way, six figure, hundred dollars, look at uh, Taylor over there laughing. You think you need him looking like this and you got to look like this here while she got to be strong and buff and you got to have all this money. Come on, somebody. Come on, say God said it ain't got nothing to do with your destiny. Because you can have all that, but if I ain't in it, come on, son. It ain't going to work whenever I join the y'all. Let no man put a thunder. Not with your flesh going together. God is helping me whenever I join. Because when I was joined, it's going to birth ministry. But I'm not put the guilt of it. I'm a God of an increase. Y'all ain't never be up here. You're not a God of decrease. You don't give to somebody your won't decrease. Your love for God show. Y'all ain't helping me. Matter of fact, it increase your life. It increase your relationship with God. Because they in your life, they enhance your life. Come on, sir. Not to be a burden to your life. The best of the Lord makes you rich. Ah, no sorrow. Well, I've got to get out of here. 
I feel the Lord. Oh, it's cold in here. Y'all don't want to say that tonight. Y'all sit like glue. They sit like glue on these seats, but the but them seats got them. <laughs> Boy, y'all can make y'all scoop on it. You don't know what to say, man. You don't know what to leave, church. I feel you want to leave, yo, but you don't want to be this way. You don't know what to do right now. <laughs> I see you still know those seats. Oh, God, I know you've been sitting, but I see you. I see you. You still in the hard. Someone say, you still in the hard. You know, the mouth say, hurry, I got to get out of here. And then you going to put your head up. Come on, son. <laughs> this word is coming down the alley. It's in every corner. See, at least you didn't put all this on Facebook tonight. See, you tag it to they, your friend page and don't want to put some more. Tag it to their friends tonight. Watch what he said. I'm all, I got 22 more minutes. I'll get that. has in that said truly. Boy, you hit it on the knob. Jesus, you saw it, boy. You called that day out. Y'all hear me? And see, you don't like when stuff is called out of us. See, I like when God calls stuff out of me. Because that let me know he's still loving because who he loves. He's chasing And I want God to continue to chase him. Because when he stops dealing with me, correcting me, convincing me, and me, that I might be a bastard and not no spy. Yeah. 